All right, super smooth flight, Miami to San Jose, about a 30 minute drive. We're here at the cage, gonna get a good night's rest. Got a call with Elliot Rowe in the morning with Poker Mind Coach, guys. Uh, Elliot, obviously, doing the one-on-ones, a bit expensive. Uh, I think it's worth it, it's changed my life, but the Poker Mind Coach is very affordable, it's great, and I highly recommend it, guys. So we got that in the show more video below, and let's, uh, let's have ourselves a big weekend here at the cage. All right, just got in. It's a nice little suite here, Terramina. Not bad. We just took the desk, moved it from here. And because uh, the phone is how we get the high speed internet for Twitch. And this cord doesn't reach. But this is our, this is our Twitch golden ticket right here. This thing will get us the internet. So we had to improvise. We're going to put the table there. We're going to get set up. Just look at the bathrooms. You know, this isn't this isn't the nicest hotel in the world, but it's pretty solid. Not crazy. But this is actually a much nicer room than I remember, so we're already running pretty good. Could stream out here, but I don't think the cord's gonna reach, so that's how it's gonna be. Let's get some food. Call it a night. Big day tomorrow. I'm telling you, 25k, we're gonna bag it up. Let's go. What's up, big man? See you at the final. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good game, brother. <laughs> Look at this side view. Whew. That's what we got. Let's see if we can find any survey of the room, any special guests. What? Anywhere. Special guest. A special guest. Who we got here? My we, man. we got the holy. Give me a little something, brother. What do you got? What are you doing here? I got like 4,000, man. I'm chilling. It's the first level. You're not supposed to have 14,000 chips on the first level. I got excited. I got excited. He got excited. He got the cage. Excited. We're going to check in with Holy in a little bit. Always good to see the man, the myth, and we'll uh, catch up. We'll talk some hands. Holy shit. What a level, right? It was good. All right, great start. 13.5 and 5K first week. That's nice. You know? Whopping, too. Sorry. Straight flush. Yeah. Right. But it's been a while. I don't know if I can't remember the last time I had it. Yeah. No problem. All right. Bill and I still have yet to play. Hold on, what do you got? Uh, no, 8K. 8K. We still have not played. This is a third cage. Gets bigger every time. Chuck, we're down here and we're gonna, uh, Chuck, we're gonna battle. We're gonna battle as well. This is, we got some, there's too many heroes here, man. We gotta, we gotta stay quiet. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right. No really exciting hands there. I will say the one hand that we got up to about 8,000 from 5,000, and then we won around 4,000 with the aces to queen's hand. Uh, 2550 blinds. I opened with aces and under the gun in a five-handed arena. Um, player who was on the button, pretty tighter, older guy. No, tight, solid. You know, I just he three bet me to 180. I know he's got a good hand, so I four bet to $900. Made a big sizing, kind of put him in a cage if he has a hand like ace king, queens kings, where he's kind of just got to shove. Um, and he obliged, he had queens, we had aces, we held, the run out was king, king, uh, I believe five, and then eight, nine maybe, but I don't remember, I have it on camera, king, king, on the flop for sure, but it was all in aces, the queens we held, that propelled us up, we had an amazing first hour run, so many hands, literally just, just scooping pots, bluffs, small bluffs working, um, you know, making value hands, getting paid, uh, making trips, really, really good first level. The last level was, I'd say we were about even, I actually don't know, I uh, didn't play a ton of hands, and um, it was kind of some back and forth small pots, so we're around 13-ish thousand from 5,000. Blinds, that was the first level done. Uh, 30 minute break now, and we will play three more levels, so it was 20, what's going on, man? It was, uh, 
10, 20, what are the blinds gonna be now? 20, 40 or 25, 50? 25, 50 or the 50 ante and then it's uh, 40, 80 and 50, 100 tomorrow, that's right. So it'll be 25, 50, 50 button ante. I am off to a really good start and we'll talk a few more hands but that was the one big pot so far. I'm ready. All right, guys, we're on the break. Got about 12K, so, you know, since the first break, first, I guess we're three quarters of the way through the day. Um, been a little slow the last couple levels, but we went, went forward five, six of diamonds, and the queens came ace, king, high. C bet, guys stuck around. Again, I turned to five. I had backdoor diamonds and straight draws. I turned to pair. I decided to check. Um, he checked, and then I just kind of gave up river. Uh, he had queen, so he stuck on the flop there. Uh, and we have an ace couple aces a couple times. We opened up three bet, they folded, and we got holy. It looks like, wait, hold on, let's play a game here. What is how many chips do we got? This looks like about 12, 12k plus here. About, we got 12 ish, sick, two. That's what we do, we just rise to the top. Don't leave your boy hanging. Holy, come on, we're gonna get him for, we're gonna get him for an official word later, but he's, he's focused. So, see you guys after, uh, after this break. Come back here tomorrow. What up, Rockin' Cards chat? Today, got to ask me anything up on there. You guys can ask me questions, of course. We are on day two. We bagged 10,700 roughly, 40, 80 blinds with the 10 ante, and then the 5100 level will be the last three hours with a 1080. So yeah, let's get it done. Go look at our table. Give you guys uh, a sweat and let's get it. Let's get it through. Let's get a big day. Bag in 25k. That's the plan. Call with Elliot Rowe, poker mind coach. That's in the show more below. Check mark. Boom. We're dialed. It's dialed. Ready to pile. Let's get him. Check. Check. Fair, Guy doing it. Got the nice laptop, the nice stack. I'm trying to order food. He's really doing it. Phone charging. He's got it. I got it all going. This kid's got it going on over here. Holy cannoli, bro! Living like a king. Okay, man. Tarjeta en mesa número 3. He only hit like 500, so sorry. Wow, what a oh, scary. Uh, we're cruising right now. We're absolutely crushing. I think we have like 14, 14k. Alright, this is uh so this is the last three hours of play. One and a half hours, 5100 lines with 10 any per player, so it's just the button puts in $60, and uh, we have about 11000 so over 110 bigs. We got Holy Town Canoli at the table, Mr. Friendly. Uh, a couple other tables playing solid. Uh, it's a stream on Twitch, and uh, let's, let's go strong. We'll get some clips up for you from yesterday and today. Um, we are, uh, we're going to be battling in the cage. Let's do it. Got the Blue Shark optics on. Cards chat. Stars repping. Let's do it.
Farhad's like, what can I beat? I can beat a bluff or I could yeah. chop. I could chop with Like a- if somebody had the ace of hearts and was just drawing to the flush, I could chop that. But like calling for a chop, a yeah, a little rough. Right, on this double paired board with three hearts. Ooh, he doesn't want to let it go. Looks like he's already got those chips all cut out. Dude, him and Jeff just love tossing chips back and forth in pretty much every hand yeah, here. Yeah, I, I really thought Farhad was going to escape here, and he could still, but nope. He's going to give Jeff, Jeff the money back that he had just got from him. I expect Jeff to go for some value here. Pot's at 3.3K. King, he might, I mean, it's going to be hard to get value, except out of like a, a smaller spade. But I think he's going to keep it fairly small. He does. Looks like he goes for about 1K. I think so. Or is that 1,500? We'll see. Yeah, 1.4, actually. Okay, 1. He dropped black. Or oh, yeah, he did. He dropped one of each black. So it is 1,500, actually, is the bet. 1,500. Can you tell I want to make that a phrase? Drop black, <laughs> drop in black. Did he say call? He sure oh. did. He sure did call it. Oh, fear giving some back here right at the end. Not Jeff a believer. Definitely got that value out of Ace Queen. Oh, no, fear's not going to like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand. Eight thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. One sec. Ten thousand. Twelve thousand. Thirteen. No, Sorry. Maybe we should stick around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, we'll be right here. 13,525. I was exactly right the first right. time. Okay. Thank you. 13,525. 13, Holy, what a level. Holy cannoli. What do we got over here, big cat? 30,000. <laughs> From nine, the last hour and a half? <laughs> Give me a little, give me a quick little something here. Holy night! It was definitely a great run. We just went on a good hour. Good hour. That good was a, that was a, that was a strong. It's finish. a great tournament, though. Seriously, you're just too deep the whole time. It's beautiful. We'll, we'll talk some hands a little later, but we're gonna get out of here. And then uh, Tommy Canole, I think, probably the big winner in the cage. Oh, Either way, he did it. He ran the big it up. Too. He did it. We had, we had some good, we had a good, uh, good level here. So, uh, for stuff. Tommy Canole, ladies and gentlemen. Holy, always doing it. All right, everyone. It was a very successful cage. We bagged 13,525. Uh, basically, our peak. We got off to such a hot start after a level. The let's see. It's basically you play 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. So it's uh, 12 hours of play. After the first one and a half hours, we were up to 13,000. We were between 13,000 and like 7,000 even with like an hour left in the day and then we finished at 13.5 so basically our peak uh, I want to run through a couple hands with you we'll see some twitch clips that was uh, on the you know there was streaming so you guys can see those uh, I want to break down a couple hands that were off camera and it was a lot of fun Tommy Canoli as you see bagged the most he had a like 18 to 6k to 30,000 put on a clinic at the end some really cool high octane hand so guys let's talk about a couple though and let's do this one so 4080 with the 10 Annie under the gun raises the 260 he has 8,000 chips with uh, I have the jack 10 of diamonds and I have 12,000 at this time now so I flats the button has 10,000 in flats was a with ace three of diamonds and the big blind call so we're four away to a flop and it comes queen nine three diamond diamond club so I'm open-ended with the jack high flusher on a multi-way pot Obviously, king or eight makes us gin, a diamond we gotta feel good about, but it checks, it goes check big blind, check original razor, I check, button checks behind. So, we go to a turn, five of diamonds. We now make the jack high flush. It goes check, check. I decide to build, a little, start putting a little money in the pot. You know, I don't wanna let a fourth diamond peel off, but maybe some, I don't think anyone has any sets or two pairs here, but you never know, so you, we bet 500 and get called. Actually, I bet 550 and get called. Uh, by the button. The other two players fold and then the river pairs the board of five. Now I'm not so worried about the five here pairing the board because on the flop in position he would have bet a set on that board for sure. This player is a solid player. He's not going to like let free cards roll off. There's so many draws, gut shots, you know, open-ended, jack tens, open-ended, flush draws. So set's kind of out of the range. So when the board pairs, you know, unless he has, he turned a set of fives and just called, which I think he probably raised that as well. 
uh, and it made running quads. You know, it doesn't really make any sense either. Uh, I think it would raise the turn. So like, it's kind of like, does he have a better flush than me um, at this point? I don't know. Could he? Yeah, but I do have jack 10 of diamonds. The queen is the diamond and um, you know, on the board. So it's like there's a king high flush, ace high flush. I decide to check call here as the board pairs. Uh, we do check call and we get shown the ace three of diamonds. So that was really unfortunate. The player had a better flush than us and he bet around 12, 1250 and we paid that off. So that was that was an unfortunate hand, bit of a cooler, um, but also lucky not to, to go broke there. So that's it from the cage again, guys. Uh, was a, was an amazing event. We are going to be going back to Miami for a few days to regroup with Amelia, and then we're going to go to Vegas. I'm going to the McGregor fight. I'm playing on a poker. It's in Poker Go Studios. It's the the stadium, you know, high high production value stream. We got Mr. Antonio Espandiari, a couple other guests on there that you guys will know. It's going to be a really cool game. I think it's five ten, but it's going to be deep stacked Facebook Stadium. It's going to be poker, Friday night poker. Uh, live streamed on Facebook. That'll be cool. And we will be obviously putting that in links and info as that gets closer. But that'll be Friday night in Vegas. I believe we start playing around 2.30, so like 5 Eastern uh, Friday. So that'll be awesome. Uh, fight McGregor versus I think, Khabib. Uh, I'm hearing both sides on what to do. I'm not really sure. We're going to figure that out and uh, go to a first ever UFC fight and play some other poker in Vegas. So that's what's up. And we got a lot more to talk about, but we'll keep it at that and then see you on the next the next run here guys thanks a lot for watching